So welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be a little bit different. So today I'm going to show you how to do the screen replacement on this LG V20. So this is the old screen. We got the base and battery and all the other stuff in the camera and the speaker. So with this, I'm going to just have to swap all the other stuff to the front of this one. This one is just a screen. All you see is empty spots all throughout it. Still got the sticker on it. So I actually thought this was going to come in like a week later or something, but it actually came in two days, so that's great. So I'm going to have to replace it now. I'm going to make a video of it. I ain't see too many videos on how to do the replacement. And these phones kind of crack pretty easily, so it's mostly glass, so they crack pretty easy. So I'm going to show you how to do screen placement. This is how the screen is now. Let's see if I get it. Surprisingly, it's actually okay because you got a whole crack through the screen, but it's still functional and mostly viewable. <laughs> so, let's see the bottom of it. So I'm going ahead and do the replacement. And you best to have the proper tools. So this is what you really need, these two. This is like a plier. It's a plier open like a little small little section where you can't get your fingers through. And this is just a screwdriver. It's kind of broken, but it's still get the job done. So you get these tools from any like dollar store or Dollar Tree, wherever, Walmart, wherever. But best to have the tools for it because the screws are very small. Since it's a phone, let's sure you can see that. Yeah. There you go. Very tiny. So let's go ahead and show you that. So I already moved three of the screws. I'm going to go ahead and take the battery out. Take the SD card out. Take the SIM card out. So I wish I had my other um, camera to record, but <laughs> this is the camera, so <laughs> yeah. So the audio on my computer is not that greatest, so I don't understand why, but lately I'm just not going to worry about it. So try to unscrew all these screws. It doesn't really matter which order you do it at. Now note, this is the first time I did it on this phone, but I have done the screen replacement on many other phones. So, it's, most time it's pretty straightforward. Don't lose the screws. You bound to lose at least one. It might drop or something, but just as long as you have enough. Let's see if this section come off. Usually they all the same size, but it's best to keep track on which ones you took out of which spot. They usually have a thread lock, so you really gotta get in it and just twist. So all the top screws are out. Now I'm gonna hand walk down the sides. To the back. So one thing I noticed that's going to be an issue already, but it's not really an issue. It's the sticker, which shows the I M E. Alright, let's get this thread on. So the sticker I won't be able to replace. I'm just have to leave that on the old screen. Just not worry about it. It's not too much of an issue, but like if you was trying to reactivate the phone or something, you have to keep track of that sticker. And usually if a phone doesn't have a sticker, it's kind of like it's stolen. And so that's what have most phone people see it. It's like the VIN number for a phone. Serial number and such.
Yeah, for the looks of it, we're gonna have to replace a lot of parts. There's, there's like nothing on the screen. Use some other phones to have like the camera already on it or something like the front facing camera. But this one has nothing on it, just the screen. The speakers are nothing. You know the rest of the items, the rest of the parts, components working, but still, more work I have to do. So all the screws is out from what I can see. Let's see. Okay, there you go the fingerprint. Okay. This part got really be delicate. You don't want to break nothing, but you also got to get it loose. So I think that back piece. But if I break it, <laughs> we're gonna get a new phone, so I'm gonna try this screen. There you go. So these slide out. Like I figured, but you gotta really get in it. Be delicate as you go. It's just easily to break. like something holding this top piece in but it won't slide out there we go so just put effort into it and it'll pop out sliding out so this will slide out this way the bottom will slide out this way and now the top should just easily come off now this is the motherboard and such. It shouldn't be no screws on here, but double check. All well, I can see is all good. So this chip. Now this you also gotta be very careful. Make sure no sensors are stuck to the other piece. It shouldn't, but also another thing. Dealing with this motherboard, best to put it on like a piece of soft spot, like a, some fabric or something, a paper towel. I'm um, thinking, should I take the cameras to help with it? Let's see. So it look like I'm about to use this piece. Get under it. Okay. Yeah, you gotta take the camera off for it. The front face camera right here. It's right there at the top. Cut off. And yeah, unplug the secondary camera. Ah, secondary camera just pop out. It should easily come out. Oh. Alright, motherboard coming out. 
unplug this charger piece, I think. Yeah, that's a charger piece. No, that's true. Let's see. Okay, that's the front buttons. So, let's slide this in. Now you gotta take the rest of these pieces off. So I need everything right there at the top. So like the camera, the main camera sits at the bottom of the motherboard. Hopefully it's not glued down. This side piece pop out pretty hard. Just make sure be delicate with it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that into the new screen. Yeah, the screen is pretty much the main piece of this phone. And it's the locking mechanism. This little side piece is the locking mechanism for the screen for the back. <coughs> So this look like to be, I'm not sure what this is, but gotta pull it out. You might need a, like a small flathead screwdriver. Pop this out. Now note, remember to take these little stickers off, the little sections. I guess that's some adhesive. It was adhesive on the last piece, so. <clears throat> Take this piece on. So be very careful, there's quite a bit of sensors at this top. And they look they glued down. It's not too hard once you have a screwdriver, but just be delicate. So let me get this one. This is a very small one right here. Now I nail when to break. If you have some alligator clips, alligator pliers, that would also be great. So this piece looks like it wraps around. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the speaker. Come back to that one.
Yeah, they really packed the sensors on these. So we moved the secondary camera. I will say get the sensor you feel most comfortable getting because these are really in there. And once you get this fixed, go ahead and get your <laughs> a case for it because the second day I got this phone, no, not the second day, like the, within the fourth day, I cracked the screen. So it doesn't take too much for these things to crack. <laughs> They're pretty looking, but doesn't last. So, well, since I'm at it, go ahead and clean that speaker. As you can see, all this gunk. So, yeah. I ain't rubbed that off with a paper towel or something. Maybe your speaker quality be better too. It should be. So now for the main phone, main camera. Good thing I just pop out. Also another thing, I see this little bit thumb paste. Put some of the thumb paste from this one to the new one. We'll do that last track grass more the sensor though. So now I see the buttons. So I'm gonna just take out the hard piece of the button. Now I'm moving the sensor, the actual feedback button. So this one is very thin, just slightly slide on it with a flathead screwdriver. So be careful with this one because the buttons are only pieces of wire, very thin. So put it around like the other one was.
So I'm not sure if I said it, but go ahead and put the plastic buttons in it. Right after you put the piece of wire, the thin little wire, so it can stay in there. So most of it out now. Now at the top part, you see all these little tiny sensors? That's gonna be a little bit hard because it looks like it wraps around. So I might have to figure out a way to do that safely. So when removing the microphone, just take this microphone piece out. Now the wire piece is pretty hard. So take the microphone out first, get a screwdriver, go under it and apply it out the uh, wires under it. There go the microphone. And the microphone so section have a adhesive under it too, so I'm gonna get that off the new screen. Hmm. But I just get the microphone. But not the microphone, but the headset, the jack. Yeah, my mom used to do this stuff when she was uh, when I was younger. She used to work for a company. She said it was hard, but it's not really. I guess it's all depending on preference. So hopefully this whole piece should come off, but I don't think something is already on the new screen. So it's another little sensor right here. The baby top is just by itself. I'm going to have to pop that off. It looks like for an antenna, but I'm not too sure. So, it's easy to pop off this one piece. Slide on to the new section. Now, no adhesive for it, so... Make sure you have it at the white right angle. Top corner and the uh, it's a piece of edge that sticks out that should be at the bottom. So I noticed if you have a little group, like a small bottle of super glue, use that to keep these sensors in place. But I think once I put the screws in, everything should stay in place. But that'd be better insurance for it. So this sensor right here, I don't have to take out. Just this one. So right. This sensor right here, I don't have to take out. But this one, I do. And that would be the last one. Yep, that would be the last one. So from where I can see, I'm going to take out from the top. 
from the front. Like this whole little gray area is the wind sensor. That's just the wires. Red sensor is it? I do not know. Could be NFC, I don't know. They look very low power since it doesn't really have a large piece to it. But it could just be a antenna. So it's pretty much just tape, but it's like a little thin wires going through the tape. Yeah, I would hate doing this every day now that I think about it. <laughs> Sitting at a desk, got to be cautious. So it's just slowly and it should just pop up like this. There we go. Very thin piece, pretty much just tape. Tape with some wire through it. And that should be the end of it. So it look like I still put on that little thermal paste, thermal pattern. Now I just wrap that tape around to the new section. Some of your sensors might fall out since you gotta pick it up. So apply some pressure to it and it should stick. So this is how I got mine. So that should be good enough. Yeah, make sure you get all the sensors in. Take this adhesive off because I didn't. I'm not sure if you did. This blue tape. Take that off. Make sure you get this little tiny corner antenna. Put that back at the top. Now it's time to put the motherboard in. And this camera. Actually the camera will be last. We had a secondary wide the lens camera. The one that popped out easy. So apply a small amount of pressure. Because uh, the main camera mounts mounts at the bottom. So apply some pressure right there. But make sure this camera flap is at on top of the motherboard right there. This camera flap right there. Make sure that's on top of the motherboard before you start applying pressure. Thank you.
Okay, I think mine's pretty melted on. I make sure you put the sensor mine just came back off. The corner antenna. Yeah, you might want to get glue for that one. Yeah, mount the, the third camera that goes on top. Then mount the bottom buttons, but it's like a little tab. What I do notice that sucks about this phone is you can't replace the charging port by itself. So I'm pretty sure everybody know how easy a charging port get worn out. So you got to replace the whole motherboard if you want to replace the charging port. The last phones I have, you could easily ch change the charging port. It'd be a piece by itself, but I guess this one would be cheap. Make a whole piece by itself. So now you mount the plastic. So before I put in the screws, I'm gonna turn it on, see if it check all the features and stuff. So let's cl clamp this back down. Why don't you put this plastic down? Every piece should be held in place on their own. I'll put the bottom in too. There go the so let's turn it on, see what happens. Sometimes my phones say invalid battery, but I don't know why. I got some backup batteries anyway. So close to boot up. I'm holding down the power button. I'm gonna try the other batteries. Hmm. So, still no one come on. I'm gonna plug it in and see what happens. There we go. So I guess the battery dead. So yeah, I figured I had it pretty set up right, but I guess the batteries got to recalibrate. I'm going to leave the stick on until I'm fairly done with it. I still got screw it in, but you see the screen working pretty good. 
and shift zone fully powered on yes no doubt on. but yeah that's the screen fits that's all you gotta do after this screw make sure you get all the screws in and yeah. test all the functions make sure they work make sure to call the speaker microphone audio headphone cameras make sure all that stuff work and then go ahead you fix the your phone and the screen replacement is done So I could hear it vibrate and everything. It looks pretty working to me. So that's the end of this video. Subscribe, like, yeah. Stay tuned for more more videos. See you later.